I think we can get started. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. Thank you so much for coming to our very first general body meeting of the semester. We've got some pretty exciting stuff planned. So um, we'll just be going over all of that. So first, we just have this scan to join Rice Design. Um, I'll also drop the link in the chat for this, but um, you'll be able to access our Instagram, our Facebook, Discord, and our listserv. Just give me one second, I'm gonna drop it in here. So that's the form. And um, we mainly update our members through our Discord. So make sure that you join that. We put notifications for all of our hands-on design opportunities, any events that we're hosting, um, any resources, all of them are in here. It's also a really great way to reach out to our officers for any help, especially our graphics and UX leads um, as they are your resources. So um, if you wanna get access to them, just make sure that you join our Discord. Um, this next page is just showing our social media. We have an Instagram, so follow us at riceu underscore design, and then our Facebook at riceu design, just like our Facebook for updates on events that we're having. So for our agenda for today, we're going to be starting with our events. We're going to, uh, the events team is going to be um, doing some speed dating activity. And then we'll have a quick intro to what Rice Design is, our mission, vision, and values, um, some of the things that we did last semester, and then looking forward, any plans that we have for this upcoming semester. Um, and then I will be dropping a link for um, y'all to get free pins that, um, we had made for Pin Your Story that we did. And then finally, we have a little bit more bonding. So now we have our speed dating. So Shreya or events, if y'all wanna take it away. Thanks, speed dating, that was really fun. Hope you guys got to know each other a little bit more. Um, now we're gonna talk about what is design or how Rice Design defines design. Um, so the way we define it is um, a process of problem solving to best visually communicate an idea, message, functional process, or digital interface to a well understood set of users. So it's kind of like a really wordy explanation of design, but really uh, how Rice Design defines design is in these different subsets. So we think of uh, graphic design or user experience UX design also user interface or UI design, and then um, a lot more like graphics, illustration, motion, animation, pretty much um, we design, we define digital design, however you guys, um, whatever you guys are interested in. So that'll change based on what different kinds of members are interested in. So then what is Rice Design? Our mission is, sorry, our mission is to connect, educate, and celebrate digital designers at Rice. So pretty much Rice Design is meant to gather all of the digital designers at Rice and create sort of a design community where we can learn, uh, celebrate each other, and promote each other in our careers in design. And we want to do this through promoting UI UX design, graphics illustration, and product, manage, product management and front end development and design. So these are just three different or four, three or four different subsets of design. But like I said, uh, what we are doing and the different kind of events that we hold really are defined by what you guys are interested in. So now we're gonna kind of introduce you guys to the team. Um, this is a screenshot that we took on our last officers meeting. Obviously not everyone was in it, but um, love these guys, they're so great. Uh, so we're gonna head into intros and Cindy can start us off. Yeah, um, so hello everyone. I'm Cindy Shang. I am a sophomore at McMurtry and I'm studying cognitive sciences and minoring in business. So um, y'all can just ask me anything about like UX or product design, getting into design as a career, recruiting, which encompasses like portfolio, personal projects, interviews, all of that. Elena? Hi, my name is Elena. I am a junior at McMurtry studying computer science and um, I'm the vice president of Rice Design and you guys can come talk to me about UI UX 
or front end development or any sort of combination of development, coding and design, and then also recruiting. Tim? Hi, I am Tim. I am a junior at Brown studying computer science and minoring in entrepreneurship. You can come ask me about, um, about front end development or hackathons, which I also really enjoy doing. Hi, uh, my name is Xue Yuan. I'm a senior at Vorice. I'm doing architecture and I'm minoring in museum and culture heritage. Um, you can ask me anything about model making, physical or digital, and also Adobe Suite. And I also do illustration drawing, so we can talk about those as well. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Andy? My bad. Uh, hi, I'm Andy. I'm one of the UI UX leads. Um, I am a senior and my major is cognitive sciences. Uh, I have mostly worked in the startup space. So I have a lot or some substantial experience coming up with new design systems and working in a fast paced environment. So if you have any questions about getting started in design or startups, hit me up. Luna, are you here? I don't think Luna is here today, but I guess I could say a few words on her behalf. Uh, Luna is the other UI UX lead, and Luna actually works in a research lab at Rice that deals with computer human interaction. And she, I believe she is a sophomore. So if you have any questions about her research lab or also getting started in UI UX, you can also hit her up. Hey, I'm Nina. I'm a senior from Brown, majoring in sociology and minoring in politics, law, and social thought. And I'm one of the graphics and illustrations chairs. I definitely lean more towards graphics and y'all can come to, for, come to me with questions about, I guess, just making sure graphic things look good. Um, and also website design. I'm really into that. Hey guys, I'm Christina. I'm a junior at Love It who's majoring in architecture and minoring in business. Um, I'm also one of your graphic design leads and you're free to come talk to me about anything from graphic design to illustration to studio art to even how to use anything in the Adobe suite. Okay, hello. Hello, my name is Nini. I'm a junior from Duncan and I'm a math major. I was also a bottom major with a visual design concentration. So if you have any questions regarding VADA, such as scheduling of classes, I can help out with that. And for digital illustration apps, I mainly use Procreate, so I can any... so I can also help with that if you want to know how to use it and also tips and tricks. Hey guys, I'm Mary. I'm a junior at Duncan and I'm majoring in cognitive science. Um, and y'all can talk to me about social media marketing, um, affinity designer, and uh, mostly like studio art, photography, art history, anything in that area too. Thanks. What's good y'all? My name is Newton. Um, I'm currently an incoming sophomore because I'm starting a gap year, but um, I'm an incoming sophomore at Will Rice, and feel free to come to me to talk about video editing. Um, I primarily use Final Cut Pro um, and also avid user of Procreate like Nini. So just feel free to reach out to me. Oh yeah, I can go first. Uh, so my name is Riley. I'm one of three outreach chairs. Um, so, oh, I'm supposed to say college year. Um, I'm from Weiss. I'm a senior, so I'm old. If you want to talk about being old or transitioning to design um, kind of later in your rice career, you can come and talk to me. Um, like a lot of people here, I'm also interested in graphics illustration and UX design, so you can ask me about that as well. Hey guys, I'm Chin Wei. I'm also old. I'm a senior from Martell. Um, I'm also a kinesiology major doing engineering design and global health technologies. 
I don't know if you guys can see me. I'm doing this on my phone. Okay. Yeah. And um, same as Riley, also old person transitioning into design with an interest in UX. So we can definitely vent about transitioning and the lack of, I guess it's very exciting that we're having this community because there hasn't been something like this before. So it's great that this is here. Ananya, are you here? I don't think she is here. I um, guess we can move on. Sarah? Hey guys, I'm Sarah. I'm a sophomore at Martell, majoring in computer science and minoring in data science. Um, I'm not super like experienced in like UI UX design or anything, but I'm pretty interested in front end development. And also just like talking about the role that design plays in designing software or like the implications of design, like machine learning and that sort of thing. So yeah, super excited. Hey everyone, my name is Ryan. I'm a sophomore from Lovett, majoring in computer science. And I'm also one of the outreach chairs. Um, I'm interested in front end development, UI UX design. And you can come to me if you have ideas for events or suggestions, feedback on any of our previous events or any questions about upcoming events. Hey guys, my name is Shreya. I'm a junior at Duncan and I'm studying computer science. Um, if you guys have any questions about product management or recruiting for that, definitely hit me up. Cool. All right, thanks guys for introducing yourself. Um, we're just going to talk a little bit about what we've done last semester. Uh, we had a couple of really awesome events that we've held, including a couple of workshops. So some were on the basics of Photoshop and Illustrator, some were on design basics and logo design. Um, and then we also held some really awesome company events where we had IBM, Google, Firebase come and talk about their design experience there. And then we had a couple of student panels as well. So we had some students talk about their experience in UI UX and also branding. So that was really exciting from last semester. And Cindy is gonna talk about design competitions that we did last semester. Yeah, so we also had two big design competitions. The first one was the Mid-Autumn Festival one where participants submitted designs and were awarded some mooncakes. Um, and we have the winners of those designs on the next slide. So we have Ellis and Hannah's awesome graphics here. Um, and then the other big one that we had was the Pin Your Story. And um, since Rights Design has a goal of promoting inclusivity and also diversity, we wanted to give people the chance to talk about their unique backgrounds, which is filled with like, aspects of their culture, family struggles, any accomplishments that they had, wanted to keep it pretty open-ended. But we got some awesome submissions that y'all can see here. And um, a lot of y'all voted on your favorites and we had the top three made into acrylic pins. First place got an iPad, second place received a tablet and then third place received a 3D pin. So here are the pins right here. They're super cool. Um, Elena and I had fun with a photo shoot. Um, and then we also have on the next slide, our rice design pins, woohoo. We have some extra pins, so we'll be giving them out at the end of this meeting and I'll be releasing a form for all of that. So next, I think um, Elena is gonna be talking about the website. Yes, so another initiative we're doing this semester is planning to launch our own rice design website. And uh, we've been kind of in the design process right now, but we're putting together a really cool website that's gonna have resources, updates on events and showcasing members work. Um, and then some of our awesome members have helped uh, design our website. So Nini is one of the uh, officers that has been doing some great designs as well as Andy and Shuyen who have helped with the UI and Webflow site building. So thank you guys so much for helping us out. Um, I also wanted to mention that we're getting a lot of inspiration from Cornell's uh, Creative Club website. Uh, so what they have is a community tab that we kind of want to replicate that promotes different uh, students across campus and their design skills and their portfolios and things that they've done in the past. So we really want to have this for Rice Design. 
uh, and especially uh, it'll help you guys out. So if any companies come across our website, they'll see your work and might be able to reach out to you as well. So again, if you're interested in being featured on our website, scan this link or, um, or scan this QR code and sign up for Rice Design and uh, you'll be able to click the checkbox whether or not you want to be featured on the website. So please do that. And then Cindy is gonna talk about merch. Yeah, just really quickly, um, we're gonna have a really cool merch line. And Christina and Nina are graphics leads and then Marion Newton who are involved in social media. And then um, Elena and I are working on some awesome merch. So be on the lookout for that. It'll drop sometime in March. I think next we have Shreya talking about um, the prototyping event that we're gonna have. Yeah, so in the next couple of weeks, we'll actually be hosting an event with one of our speakers from last semester, Metni. Um, she graduated from Rice, she was an Archie, and then decided to pursue UX design. So she'll actually be leading a prototyping workshop and she'll be going over levels of fidelity and the typical prototyping process. So we're super excited to have her with us again and we'll make an announcement soon with more details. Awesome. And Andy uh, is going to talk about 180 degrees consulting. Yeah, so if some of y'all don't know, 180 degree consulting at Rice just opened, obviously their chapter at Rice. So 180 degree consulting is a national sort of company, I guess you would call it more of an organization. Basically, they're student consultants and they work with nonprofit um, organizations in their area, um, acting obviously in the consulting business. And basically over the break, they contracted us to build their website. So I went over, I built their website and actually they wanted actually to contact, contract us for future sites as well. So what that means for y'all is obviously, not obviously, but I don't, I can't and do not want to be the only one working on these projects. So it is a really great opportunity to work with 180 Degree um, with their clients. And basically we'd be providing website design services. So what that means is basic contract work. And that includes coming up with the designs, building the designs, and maybe even sort of advising them on what should be on their website, which should not be, et cetera. So I cannot emphasize more greatly how great of an opportunity this is. Um, you are going to be working with like actual companies and like real users and real products and websites and these are going to be like hosted they're going to be published it's not just like a portfolio piece that you create together for yourself um so if you want any more information or would like to join um in this opportunity reach out to me um either through the discord dm or email me um i can drop my email in the chat but just reach out to me somehow um again I cannot emphasize how great this opportunity is. Again, sorry for repeating myself, but real companies, real websites, real users, it's like crazy access, all for basically just talking to me. So, yay. Thanks, Andy. Uh, and then Nina is going to talk about a cool opportunity for poster design. Okay. <laughs> Um, so the group that's protesting Willie's statue in the quad every day has commissioned posters from Rice Design. Um, they're really letting us have complete creative freedom as long as we stick to the general messaging of these past posters and these other past poster messages. But um, you're really free to use your own words to convey their message. I've linked or I've like provided what their Facebook, Instagram, and website is if y'all want to learn more. But um, I put all this information into the announcements a couple days ago and we're really, while there's like a tentative deadline of Tuesday, we'll really accept um, submissions for the next week or so. Awesome, thank you, Nina. And Mimi? Okay, hello. So. Um, please follow this forum if you're interested in doing some branding work and the link is in the chat. So this will just help us know 
who to reach out to if you do end up getting work with like other clubs and organizations. The former also asks if you have any background regarding branding. And I just want to emphasize that if you do not have any at all, don't worry because this will not disqualify you from like joining a team if there will be one in the future. Because as Rice Design, we do want members to gain experience if there's an opportunity. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Nini. And Cindy? Yeah, so here are some of um, the virtual design events that have been going on. This isn't with Rice Design, but other places. So um, with the University of Waterloo UX, they are hosting a design hackathon and it's gonna be on March 13th and 14th and applications for it are due on the 27th. So over the span of a weekend, participants will be working on an open-ended prompt and they'll be using design thinking to challenge their assumptions, learn something new, and then turn an abstract idea into a prototype. Um, the students who, have, who participate are gonna have access to a lot of resources and tools. So um, inspiring speakers and workshops, mentorships, um, just anyone who's interested in, uh, in design in general. It's really great for fast paced learning um, and an intro into design. And I would really recommend it if you are looking for a way to get something on like your portfolio really quickly. Um, the design teams are in groups of four, but even if you don't have a team, they will place you in one um, for other people who are also looking for teammates. And then the second opportunity is just the reality. Oh wait, Cindy, I think you're cutting out. I think you cut out for a bit. I think you're back though. Oh, hello, can you hear? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> can you sit? So um, I just dropped. Oh no! Where did I cut off? Um, just when you started talking about reality and Harvard. Okay. Okay. I just said that I was gonna drop the link in the chat for the um, University of Waterloo one, but now for the Harvard one. Um, this one is just a conference, and it's bringing together creative thinkers, design luminaries, professors, industry leaders, all of these different types of people in order to talk about design and their theme, reality. Um, they're talking about confronting, escaping, and constructing reality. Um, so there are speakers from like Disney to the Metropolitan Museum to MIT and tickets are $6 per person. It's not just limited to UX design, but a lot of different types of design. Um, so if you're interested in finding out about the different facets of design industry um, and learning from seasoned professionals, then I'd highly recommend you all to go to this one. And I will drop it in the chat for right now. Um, so again, <laughs> we have this next slide where it's basically telling y'all to join Rise and Design. Um, yeah. Oh, and if you don't know how to scan a QR code, which I didn't know uh, before, <laughs> is that you just need to take out your camera and then point your phone camera at the QR code and you will get the link. <laughs> so nice. So you know. <laughs> okay, and now for free pins, yay. So I'm gonna drop another link in the chat and whoever fills out this form first will be getting like the free pen. So like first come first serve type of thing. Um, but if you filled out um, the form for a free pen from last semester, please don't do it. So other people can have a chance to get one. Um, you'll have the ability to rank which pins you like the most and then we'll try to get um, your top choices too. But um, unfortunately, we can only get it to students at Rice at this time, and we're planning to distribute the pins in late February and early March. Um, we'll send an email about this later, but again, here's a picture of all the pins on the next slide. And okay, so this is the link. And also I think events had a poll that they wanted me to share just about like, what type of events y'all would want to see this semester. So I think I will send that poll out right now. Did it work? Cool, yes. Okay, please vote.
also if you've already ordered a pin um, from last semester so if you've um, filled out the form for a free pin or if you've ordered a pin from last semester we should have reimbursed you because they're going to be free for everyone um, so you don't need to fill out this form again um, for those people as well we'll be sending out an email um, talking about um, exactly how to get your pins from us Okay, I think almost everyone's filled out the poll. Except for two people, but that's okay. All right. <laughs> so for breakout rooms, I don't know what events is planning. Okay. Um, yeah, so if you guys would like to stay, um, we're going to open up a few breakout rooms and play some games. Um, but yeah, feel free to stay and join us. Um, I think we'll play like Scribble and maybe Among Us and maybe something else if anybody has anything they'd like to play. <laughs> um, 